Growing up in the Wood River Valley, it didn't take Muffy Davis long to establish her dreams. My dream had always been to be an Olympic skier. As a teenager, her passion was the perfect influencer as she realized her potential. Life was good. But then one day in 1989, on a mountain that provided her with seemingly endless optimism, the skiing career she once envisioned came to a crashing halt. I broke my back when I was 16. A fractured helmet resulted in fractured dreams. I was devastated at first, and I was like, if I can't ski on two skis, I'm never skiing again, and my whole goal was rehab. Two years went by. Her approach to her recovery was relentless, but unsuccessful. It took a couple of years, for sure, of depression. I mean, it was going to be hard anyways. I was a 16-year-old. That's hard, <laughs> and then you throw a disability on it. It was at that moment that Muffy learned to adapt. I went out and learned how to adapt to ski, and it just kept getting easier. She missed the mountain and needed it back in her life in order to move forward. The day I remember the most is when I got my mono ski out of my car myself. I got in it myself, I got on the chairlift myself, and I went skiing for myself, independently, totally on my own. That's the day I realized, wow, I'm back. With a little bit of help from a sponsor. Uh, Challenged Athletes Foundation and organizations like that that connected me with resources and gave me the ability to get out on the mountain because the adaptive equipment is not cheap and insurance doesn't cover it. Muffy was able to refocus and reestablish her goals. She went on to make the U.S. World Paralympic team in 2000, which then snowballed into three silver medals at the Paralympic Games in Salt Lake City in 2002. When her skiing career was over, she kept pedaling forward. So when I was injured over 30 years ago, hand cycling didn't exist. And her competitive spirit rekindled itself in a new sport. I just was hooked. I met other people and, you know, it was through the network of people and the rest was history. In 2012, Muffy didn't just qualify for the Paralympic Games, she dominated them, winning three gold medals on her bike. As she so modestly describes, It worked out. Even though Muffy is now officially retired from competition, this isn't the end of her story. You can't live in that. Like, we all have our gold medal. What is it that you work, work really hard for and you accomplish? And for me, it was that. And I'm not done. I have more. They won't be those things, but they'll be other things. She is now the gold standard of our paracycling community. Are you kidding? Did you see that kids race? There were probably 500 kids. Like, it was crazy. Yet another new role she's thriving in. I had amazing mentors in my life and people that taught me. And so I try and really stay involved from behind the scenes and help the sports mo move forward and evolve to be the best they can be for the next generation of athletes.